What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for coming back and watching my video. So I thought in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I just want to talk to you all about things that have helped me during my weight loss and I'm pretty sure will help you all during your own weight loss journey and things that you're trying to accomplish in general because a lot of people tend to think that when you're working out and doing things um, about losing weight, it's only focused on the exercise itself and it takes a lot more than that. So I just want to give you all some tips and advice that have helped me during my own weight loss journey. So first things first, you just want to surround yourself with motivating people and the people who are going to be there to support you during your journey because if you're going to be around people that are just, you know, bringing you down and don't support you in what you're doing, it's just going to be that much harder for you to go towards your goals. So for example, with my family, I had my brothers help me during my own weight loss journey and I also had my family support me and everything like that. So I was thankful enough and blessed enough to have those people by my side throughout the whole journey. Now, the second thing that I would like to recommend to people who are looking to lose weight is to make sure that you get rid of all your junk food and just try to get yourself around things that are only going to benefit you so that way when you go into your closet and you're choosing a snack you don't have the option to choose something that's gonna you know ruin your diet for the day because a lot of people drink their calories and that's something that you guys can definitely change just by simply moving the soda out of the area and getting some water instead. So for example, if you're drinking a can of soda that has a lot of calories and also has a lot of carbs and a lot of sugar, and that means you should be eating less now since you took that soda. So instead of drinking a soda, you might want to substitute it with something like water or a diet ginger ale, and that way you can eat more regular food instead of drinking your calories away. Um, that's something that I kind of struggled with because I always drank like orange juice, apple juice, things like that that are very sugary drinks and that's just not good for your health. Sugary drinks are not good for you whatsoever and instead substitute it with water that way you can get more food and, and who doesn't want to eat more food just make sure you're choosing the right foods. And a little tip for choosing foods for example is that I like to eat a lot of vegetables because it volumizes the portion that way it looks like you're eating more and you definitely are eating more that's the thing and it fills you up more mentally because if you're going to choose a calorically dense food then you're only going to get a small amount of it and if you're going to choose a more nutrient dense food then you're going to get more benefits from it health wise and you're also going to get fuller because there's more of it. Now the last thing that I want to recommend to you all is stay consistent because staying consistent is very huge especially if you're going to the gym. A lot of people go to the gym and they don't see the results that they want to see within a week, within a day and they need to understand that it takes more than a day, it takes more than a week, it takes a very long time. I myself am still on a journey and I've been on this journey for about two years and I'm still working towards my goals. It took me about a year and a half to lose all the weight that I did lose and I'm still working towards my goal of cutting and I also want to build more strength so you all need to understand that it doesn't just happen overnight and people need to understand that you need to stay consistent because you, there are walls that you will hit when you go on a weight loss journey and it's not going to be easy at all and if you overcome those walls then you learn how to do it in the future you just need to keep pushing yourself every single day and you also have to make sure that you're doing it on a consistent basis because if you don't use it then you lose it and if you're not exercising properly then you should definitely go on YouTube and look up different videos and exercise that will help you so that way when you go to the gym you have a certain workout regimen that you can do and that way you'll be able to go to the gym and do something instead of just walking around and not having a current workout regimen because that way you have a design program for yourself. So this is just a quick video that I wanted to make for you all because I think a lot of people need help on starting their weight loss journey because it's very difficult you may not find the resources and you may not find the people to help you with that so this is why I'm here I want to give you all the advice that I can and this is only three uh, pieces of advice for you all and if you guys have any questions please comment down below and I'd love to answer those questions on my next video so thank you all so much for watching this video is gonna be a little bit shorter please comment share like and subscribe and don't forget to stay healthy everyone